Shut up and listen. I don't care. The incident that I'm referring to happened in Greenwood Academy. The Greenwood Academy invited a speaker to inform students about the LGBT and tolerance campaign. The speaker was Hakan Qureshi, a so-called LGBT Muslim. So in order to get answers for myself, I read the Quran, I read the Bible to see what does it say about homosexuality. And as far as I'm concerned, in my research, there isn't anything in the Quran that says homosexuality is a sin. Misrepresent the verses of Quran and the teaching of Islam to tell the student that it's okay to be gay and Muslim at the same time. And what happened next will make you proud. Yeah, you said it's our own, your own journey. Why is he advocating this to young people, young Muslims who are still learning their religion? You're advocating the wrong thing. Do you agree that being gay and Muslim is wrong? No, I don't agree with that. So you I'll stop you. Telling the younger years wrong information. First, you said that there's no version of the Quran. Now you're saying there is a version. And then he said you can't be gay in Islam, and then he said Pirate I didn't say you can't be gay. That came from... He said no. So now you're saying you can be gay. In Islam. Right. Now that Muslim student in the class spoke out against Khan Qureshi and told him that being gay and Muslim in Islam is not okay. It's a major sin in all the Abrahamic faiths, Christianity, Judaism, Islam. But what did happen next? Did they have a respectful dialogue like they should have without insulting each other? Or shut up and listen. I don't care. I've had enough. We live in a diverse and tolerant country. We are tolerant of different religions. 21 years ago, a group of Muslims smashed airplanes into buildings to kill thousands of people. At that stage, people stood up and said, no, we must not condemn Muslims for what a few have done. I mean, I look at this clip and I'm like in my mind, wow, like this is the level of teaching in the Greenwood Academy and this teacher literally had no better example than to find 9-11 which to be honest is unsupported by any Islamic text if anyone has read. 9-11 is related to Muslim as much as Hitler was related to Christians, Joseph Stalin was related to atheist. We don't own it guys. Like what was in the mind of that teacher when he mentioned that to a group of college students who are there to learn. I mean we all go to school, you have a lot of stress and anxieties at school, grades, curricular activities, co-curricular activities and you kind of want to maintain a good relationship with the teacher. This student just simply wanted to ask Khan Qureshi about his position and wanted to point it out to the fact that Quran openly states that homosexuality is sin and the hadiths are more explicit on that so Islam is against homosexuality. It's it's not okay to express your own sin and then go promote it to others. You're just making that sin bigger for yourself. As Muslims, we should be proud of the values we hold dear. These are all more values given by Allah to Prophet Muhammad to us. These are values from God and we are proud of that. There's no shame in saying that homosexuality is a sin in Islam. If I go out in the street and meet a non-Muslim homosexual person, I'm not going to treat him as less of a human than I am. But if he says to me that homosexuality is okay, I'm going to say no, it is not okay according to me, according to Islam, according to Allah. It is not okay and it's not for me to say it is okay. We are Muslims, we are proud of our values, we are people of principles and we are going to hold on to principles and just like this awesome student right here. Now I'd like to hear your opinions in the comments below and I want you to tell me what you think about this incident and whether you are proud of these students who stood up for their own faith. Whether you are a Muslim or a Christian or a Jewish person, if you stand up for your faith, you have my respect. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.